Hey everybody, this is Greg with the Year of the Dad Gaming. Today we're going to talk about fishing in the game of Craftopia. Uh, with the recent winter content update, they've added a lot of different things to the fishing system. Um, it's, it's not really a challenge, but there's still some pretty cool things that you can do uh, with the fish. Things that you can get, missions you can complete. And I just kind of wanted to show you the, the basics of how to fish and... Um, you know what what where there's areas to fish what you know how it resets and um you know before we get started if you would consider if you like what we're doing here on the channel if you consider subscribing that would really help us out or uh, give this video a like but here we go we're going to talk about this so as you see you'll you'll go to different islands they're all uh wrapped up in these um in water so there's water everywhere and you could actually fish and uh, build a fishing pole. So I built, uh, well, I've got a glass fiber fishing rod, but I can actually craft just a regular wooden fishing rod. And you can craft this early in the game, so you can fish really early. So let me equip my regular fishing rod. And you just throw it out there, and when it goes down, you hit the right trigger on Xbox. And boom, I got a raw, fresh amberjack. And each time you fish, um, you know, you have the chance to catch at least one. If you have a right perk, the right skill, and it's a passive skill, you can do the double fish catch. So you get a chance to catch more than one fish on one cast. And that might be a decent skill to get early in the game when you're trying to get fish fillets. Um, but you saw I caught a black bass. And then with the winter content update, they added uh, schools of fish. So that's that's not a school. Those are just little ones that you can catch with just a regular fishing pole. But out here, you can kind of see them swimming under the water. And these are what are called schools of fish. And you need a fishing net system to catch these fish. So, get the fishing net. And it's really like a cannon, but it shoots out a fishing net. We'll place that down. We'll cast it. And then, boom, look, I caught more than just fish. So I got some coins. There's a porcupine fish, puffer fish, sea urchin. So that's cool. You can catch multiple things and even stuff that's not fish. And there it called a leatherback turtle, sailfish, you know, the porcupine fish. And as you can see, it's kind of random. Sometimes it'll just be one uh, fish you'll catch, or it'll be, or one, you'll be able to cast it one time and the school will go away, or you'll be able to cast it two times. But the good news is, is that when you leave the island and come back the school fish will respawn they won't always respawn in the same exact spot so you will have to you know just look they should be in the general area um, but they're not always spawning in the same exact spot but they should be in that general area out there um, and, and it could be different island island where those uh, spawn um, on my home base it spawns um, I'll just kind of show you on the map as soon as I load in. So here they spawn right out in D8. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's where yours will spawn all the time. That's just where I've always had mine spawn. And I go out there and I try to catch because I'm trying to catch the a fishing boat blueprint still haven't gotten it been working hard it's kind of a grind to uh, get it but I also wanted to show you the carbon fishing rod so this is upgraded one as you advance ages you'll be able to do this and this will actually catch multiple fish at one time without the perk so there you go you saw I caught uh, two Dorados so let's cast it one more time and with this, you can actually not catch just fish. You can catch mana potions. Um, you know, there's certain things you can catch. 
uh, Slate of Evolutions occasionally. And as always, once you cast three times at that spot, that spot goes away. So what can we do with all these fish? Well, thanks to the winter content update again, you can display your fish. So you've got a small tank and you've got a big fish tank. So you can actually put a fish in here and I'm gonna take this one out and let's put my turtle in there. And you can see I got a little turtle in there swimming around. Um, you can change the size of the turtle make it look bigger now he's way too big um, but you can adjust the size kind of scale him down rotate him around things like that and the big tank you can still only put one fish but what I found is they've got these new things that are called semi transparent sticker type tiny item stand and you can stick these stickers to the outside of your fish tank put a fish on it and it swims around and looks like it's inside the fish tank. So if you want your fish tank to look like you've got a bunch of fish in here, you can stick a bunch of these stickers on your fish tank and then make it look that way like you've got multiple fish. You can kind of see it's actually on the outside if you look at it this way. But when you look at it from the front, it kind of looks like he's in there in the tank. Um, I think this was by design. I think I saw somewhere in the description that, you know, it, it suggested to do this. Um, I totally missed this, but I, I saw it now. Um, the other thing you can use for fishing, and it's, is a crab pot. Um, let's see if I've got... Crab pots you've got to deploy way out here. I've got them out by my uh, oil rig because <clears throat> I come out here often to get jet fuel for my jet pack. So I figured I might as well have some crab pots set up out here to catch crab while I'm coming out to get my jet fuel. Jet fuel. Might as well pick up some jet fuel while I'm here. If you haven't seen my video of how I automate this, you can you should check that out. I'll link that so you can uh, kind of see how I'm auto-generating jet fuel here. So here you drop your crab pots. Got to be dropped in a, in a deep area. And, you know, that time I call it old rag. Not the best. Um, let's see what we got here. There, caught some shrimp. Um, but yeah, eventually the crab pots, you just kind of put them down and they eventually catch stuff and it'll keep it. You can actually install a dropper on this and an absorber and just have this thing auto farm crabs or whatever come you catch with a crab pot. So that's kind of a cool little trick that you might think about setting up to do. And the other thing you can do is catch a kraken. Um, I've got a full video on catching a kraken. Uh, if you see a little tentacle... Uh, popped up out of the water. I don't see any close by here. Let's go down this way. Maybe we'll see some um, But instead of seeing the, the little three little fish swim in a circle You'll see a tentacle popping up if you cast your pole out that doesn't matter which pole you're using You can pull up a kraken and then you've got to fight a kraken or you can tame it um, if you catch it you can tame it and you know use that um, use him as a pet also next i want to take you to somewhere where you wouldn't expect to catch fish yes this is hell island and if you see these little sparkling things and little bubbles coming up from the lava you can build platforms out there and catch fish um, but i don't know if you can actually catch fish because every time i've gone i've caught sulfur and other items so you may just want to go to Hell Island and check out and see what you catch. See, I cast a couple of times. Let's see what I get here. Yep, looks like it's more sulfur. Problem is, you almost have to jump in the lava to get it, so you might want to get an absorber 
so you don't have to jump in the lava to uh, get this. There you go. It's got sulfur. Nothing but sulfur here. Also, I wanted to show you this. I thought it was both uh, humorous and uh, interesting. Uh, you at the fishing hole, you can watch. I catch, and this is on the island of the bay, or island of residence. I catch a couple of salmon, and then I cast back out. And lo and behold, I catch a kraken at a regular fishing spot. So I guess you can catch them at a regular fishing spot. So that's interesting. But watch what happens after I kill this kraken. What he drops. getting ready to catch him and if you look closely he had a digested Kevin's bone and I think that's pretty funny because it's an enchantment but I think it was purposely put there uh, to you know as a funny part of the game I, I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody else maybe it's just a random coincidence uh, but I thought it was funny that they the Kraken uh, spit out a digested Kevin bone um, Kevin is kind of annoying. He's the thief that runs around and steals stuff from you. So um, just a little bit of humor there. I thought that was funny and uh, just never really even noticed that. All right, everybody. Uh, that's all we have for today. Once again, if you enjoy this video, consider giving us a thumbs up there. Give us a like. If you enjoy our content on the channel, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.